Hello guys, I'm back with an album review. Today we'll be going over Zwan's 2003 debut and only album, Mary Star of the Sea. But this isn't your average album review. I'm gonna do a little detective work to try and piece together what happened to this band and why there wasn't a second record. Zwan is an American alternative band formed in 2003 by at the time former frontman of the Smashing Pumpkins, Billy Corgan and drummer Jimmy Chamberlain, with several other incredibly talented indie rock gods, including Hat Guy, Paz Lynchiton, David Paho, and very many others. The band is actually called the True Poets of Zwan. It's a successor to an acoustic band formed originally in 2001 called The Jolly Swan. When it comes to this album, people either love it or hate it. For me, being a gigantic Smashing Pumpkins fan and having exhausted all of their material years ago, saying that I enjoyed each of these tracks would be a huge understatement. In fact, I can't find a single second on this record that I don't absolutely adore. No pun intended. I love this album, and I feel a real connection with it. My initial reaction to this CD was, is there more? There's gotta be more, right? To my dismay, I found that the band only had this one record before they mysteriously broke up, later to be discovered by a Z-list talking cat internet host, its obvious final resting place. Of course. So I'm left with a big question. What happened? And whatever it was, not only was it bad enough to destroy the band, it destroyed any chance of another record. So what happened? My first guess is that it was Hat Guy's fault, mostly because of this interview where he was asked the simple question, what is Zwan? It's a band I'm really excited about. Uh, you know, it's a... Uh, Uh, yeah. I didn't edit or pause that. He really stares at the camera for like 20 seconds straight. To me, that stare just screams, we're not doing another record, are we? This interview doesn't seem to help either. It's a very popular Euro European lunch meat, and, <laughs> and I'm not kidding, and we're, we're being faced with an enormous lawsuit. But we love the lunch no, we're meat. we're not. Oh, we're not? No, we're not. And be happy or not. <laughs> I'll take B for 50. <laughs> He mentions a lawsuit while the audio cuts off before he can say any more, but this clip is from the same interview. <laughs> you know, the big question a lot of people have right now is what is the name Zwan? Sounds mean? like an action hero. Oh, well, it's funny you should ask. <laughs> Here's where we go to the expensive graphics, okay. Zwan means A, Swan with a Z, B, Design in Japanese. C, in Russian, the sound that you make when you ring a bell, the sort of doom. Or D, swan. right, swan, right. Or D, a form of Greek, Greek spam. Yeah, that was really on Fox News. When Billy Corgan was asked in 2005 about what happened to Swan, he seemed really bitter at the time. Like each of the members had betrayed him personally, saying things like, You'll never see Zwan. I'll never go anywhere near those people. Ever. I mean, I detest them. You can put that in capital letters. Bad people. On the contrary, look at this interview of the band while it was still together. Notice how Billy continuously brings up the integrity and honesty the band has with each other, as the other members act uncomfortable. <laughs> We don't, do, we don't do cocaine together. I think the hallmarks of uh, people that I'm attracted to are individuality and honesty. And I think those two, those two in combination. And, you know, what honesty is, that's a sort of a sliding, <laughs> slippery slope. But there's sort of an integrity that goes with uh, great people. And uh, I think um, as someone who's you know, led a couple bands, I think that's the 
one thing I've always asked uh, myself and others around me as musicians to do is to have that sort of integrity and that honesty. At some point you have to try to appeal to the honesty and integrity in that person. I mean, we do represent something, and that's an integrity. But The mystery deepens. So what force in nature caused this supergroup to disband? Billy Corgan also stated that it was the same old thing, drugs and relationships between the band members. Billy in 2012 commented on Swain, calling it a supergroup of addicts. Ouch. So, was it David Paho? <laughs> uh, I, I get asked that question a lot, especially when I go to shows. Um, <clears throat> I'm David Paho. I uh, come from uh, my mother's womb. She's from Detroit. Um, my dad is from the Philippines. Uh, I, uh, where did I come from today? <laughs> I came from... <laughs> nah. No, it couldn't be. Yup, you guessed it. He played a major part in why there was no follow-up album. I thought Hack I did it. Guess I'm a bad judge of character. And I feel bad. Matt Sweeney is crazy talented and he's running on all cylinders on this record. So what did David Paho do? He was doing the producer's girlfriend during the album's production, and after. Doesn't that just solve so much? That plus everything else adds up to the result we have today. It's satisfying to finally know, but isn't it kind of sad? Like, you couldn't just keep it together, man? Ah, Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Every review I could dig up on this record called it pop rock, power pop, very energetic and jumpy, and while this is the way I would describe the first song, certainly not the rest of the album. I mean, do you hear that? Does that sound energetic and jumpy? Well this leads me to believe that the people writing these reviews back in 2003 only heard the first track, it was a single in fact. If they were unfamiliar with Billy Corgan's music, they might have assumed that the rest of the CD was more of the same. While in reality, there's only two other songs that showcase this jumpy tempo, Declaration of Faith and Ride a Black Swan. This album flows like a Smashing Pumpkins record. And although it doesn't touch on any subjects explored in Melancholy and their at the time swan song, Machine of the Machines of God, it's not all rainbows and sunshine. Until I die, I'm a broken heart. But at times it is happy-go-lucky, so I see where people are coming from. I think people get this impression because Billy often sings about the same old stuff, but in a way that sounds happy. Can't stop Wait, is that up, him? So what happened? Luckily, he looks like a grave robber. Music. Wait a second. Um, having dug up all the corpses of my heroes, I'm looking for new bodies and... Uh, and, uh... There aren't any other video reviews of this album just about anywhere, so I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, I'll find the odd fan of this CD by reaching my paw into the ether. Billy Corgan actually said that he's happy that Swan didn't have success, because then he would have to keep working with these people who he didn't really like anymore. You know, maybe it was for the best that this band didn't tough it out, but I want what I can't have because I'm a bad kid in. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks again for letting me ramble on. See ya! It's easier not to be the singer, so I think I probably got a little bit less nervous and, uh, can have a little bit more fun and uh, yeah, I think I can enjoy it a little bit more. But I feel a lot less pressure in Zwan. Um, with Pumpkins, it was always so demonstrative that it was a lot of pressure to sort of blow everything up every time we stepped on stage, you know, whether it was the band fighting or <laughs> the audience throwing things at us or whatever, you know. So um, Zwan is so, so much more of a sunny proposition, even on a cold day. That, uh, I think the good thing lot. about uh, playing music is it gives you a, it gives you a chance to kind of, uh, I mean, for the band and the audience, I think uh, a chance to uh, 
maybe enjoy something for a couple hours and, and reset your thoughts. When everybody's galvanized by a global event, you, know, you see everybody sort of standing up right now. Mostly the artists are all against the war. Those are the ones who are speaking, unless you're a country artist. But do, does the artists, are they sort of mandated to do that?